Welcome back, Devils fans, and the Heart Attack Kids do it to us once again. Another one-goal game, squeaking out the thrilling overtime victory last night against the Boston Bruins. And I'm here to talk to you guys about the matchup. <sighs> what a night, folks. What a night. First of all, I was at the Rock. It feels like I haven't been at a game in forever, and I guess it's only been a couple weeks with that road trip, but it seemed much longer than it was. It was a very, very tight game. Very, very tight game. It felt like a playoff game in the arena, and it, and it kind of played out like one on the ice. Bruins score late in the first period, take that one nothing lead. And for the whole second period and a little while there in the third, it just seemed like we weren't going to be able to crack Swayman. It just seemed like one of those nights that we just weren't getting tons of quality shots. I forget what period it was in. I think Swayman's best save up until the third, um, Mercer had a really good chance on the doorstep on the power play. And Swayman got over and made a really big save. But it seemed like it was one of those nights where we just couldn't get quality chances. And I thought we were going to, you know, midway through the second period, I thought I was going to go home without cheering for a goal. And we were just going to lose a one nothing or 2 nothing game to the Boston Bruins. But we find a way. Third period, Dawson driving the net like he likes to do on a beautiful kind of backhand baseball a little baseball swing on the backhand out of midair. Dawson gets it done, ties the game at one, and the arena suddenly came back to life. A lot of people, I think, were kind of in the mindset that I was, that, wow, this is just one of those nights where we're just not even going to get a goal. I mean, wow, it would, have, it would have been really unfortunate coming off of that, that loss in Edmonton. But Mercer finds a way, ties the game up, and now, and now it's on. The Rock comes to life. We can't get anything else in the third, and we're headed to overtime. And in overtime, it is the Hughes show. The Hughes brothers in the three-on-three. -three, too much ice. There's too much ice for these boys. It should be illegal. They're flying around. We have to be one of the most deadly teams in the overtime, I'd have to imagine. I mean, these, guys, these kids could fly in the three-on-three. -three, it is just a Hughes show. And so we find a way. We were buzzing early, completely dominating the overtime. We get a couple chances. Swayman makes the saves, but then eventually it just they just couldn't handle they just couldn't handle the Hughes show anymore. And Jackie Boy puts it away in overtime, ending his little few game pointless drought. And Devils get a huge two one win at the Rock. I mean, wow, the standings are super tight, and we're clawing for points. And we needed this one. I think this was a huge win for the group. Huge win for the fans, and it was a very much a playoff-type atmosphere. I think the game played that way. It kind of felt that way in the arena, and I think it was a good test for the boys as we're you know winding down December here. Huge win for the boys. I thought VTech played a very good game. He made a couple of very big saves. And I just, at this point now, I just don't know with VTech. I, I'm still, he still gives me heart attacks. I still have a heart attack, and there's plenty of times where he has no idea where the puck is, and he scares the living shit out of me. And I'm watching the game, and I'm like, this guy has no idea where the puck is. But he played a great game last night. I got to give it to him. He, he played a great game, and we win a 2-1 tight one. So I don't know now. It seems like we're back to this every other day with the goalies. You guys know how I feel about that. I don't really like that. I'd like to see someone get in a groove. But we keep doing this every other game thing, and I don't know where this is going to leave us you know, heading into the playoffs because you're not going to do that in the playoffs. And so if we do this all year, I don't know where that's going to leave us with having a starter that's played consistently throughout the year. We're not going to have that if this continues. So it's a very interesting development unfolding. While I was at the game, pregame, um, there was the rumors were heating up again about the Devils reaching out to Anaheim to try to acquire Gibson. That could be an interesting story we've been looking at, you know, for weeks now, are we going to get a goalie? Are we not? What's going on? So that kind of heated up pregame, and I have a, a funny story that I'll put in in the video about Gibson that I'll have coming out soon as well, so look out for that. But Devils won a big one, 2-1, exciting game. Jack is back on the score sheet. Devils win, much needed two points, and now and now we go to Columbus, and then we're, we have a long homestand at the end of the month. So the, the, this group has to just keep it moving and and keep fighting i mean we're we're right in the thick of things now and i think I, I don't know if it was nhl network or somebody had like power rankings the other day and i think we were like 13th on their list 
I think we're like like number thirteen league wide. Uh, I'll double check on that. But when we're on, this team is dangerous. And if we could get NHL quality goaltending, I do believe in this team. I really do. I think we could really go on a run. We we show flashes of greatness here and there, and we just need to do it consistently. But seven of the last nine games we have won. We have won seven of the last nine games, and the turnaround is here. The turnaround is here, folks. And so hopefully we can keep it going. We got to just keep stringing together wins because, as I mentioned, the standings are tight and we can't afford to be slipping. And we got to just keep it going. What did you guys think about the game? Let me know in the comments. Um, just another, another thriller. Another tight thriller. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Until next time, friends, let's go Devils.